okay, I'm comfortable. I could do this. And then as soon as I got to a I clicked, you're on. <laughs> So were you, did you get an opportunity to, uh, to hang out with the Roots at all? Did you get, um, and kind of do anything with them? I did. Quest is so chill. Like, I love him. I love all their energy. Like, they're so relaxed and laid back. Like, everything was done so fast. It was lightning fast. Like, I didn't have a chance to really think about it at all. So it was just kind of quick. And by the time it was over, I'm like, in the hallway with Jimmy Fallon, he's singing, why do you lie? I'm like, yes, I did it. (laughs) <laughs> awesome awesome hold on a second we got we got we got we got we got a visitor online too who's who's joining us here hold on a second hopefully this is not going to disconnect you are you still there Liv? Liv, you still there Liv, Liv. Ugh. ryan what's up man? <laughs> what's happening i think we just disconnected Liv. <laughs> hold on a second, hold on a second. You st- you still there, Liv? You still there? Yep, I'm here. <laughs> Ryan just called in. Because these oh, right. beca- because uh-huh. these because these technical things that, that we're that we're uh uh <laughs> dealing with here. So now we can't you know before for those of you guys who don't know uh, Google Hangouts. One of the reasons why it hasn't had uh, been th- the successful blowout that it it's supposed to have been is because it has so many technical challenges. Um, and so what we got to do, we got to we have to kind of swap back. We have to swap back and forth. Um, Ryan's trying to take my place. No, I'm, no, it's, it's, okay. A, it's no, okay. It's all right. It's all good. We're because we're we're we're, we're, we're going to talk to him. We're we are we're definitely going to talk to him. And uh, so, all right. So so. so Let's since Ryan's on the phone. Let, let's go ahead and talk about your band. For those of you um, who don't know, introduce them. Introduce everybody to to your band and what um, uh, you know. Who's playing with you right now, currently on your current tour, and kind of give a little background about everybody that's there and and, and tell a little bit about Blackbird. Uh, Blackbird, incredible. Like Ryan Waters. I'm gonna start with him first because. Ryan is incredible. Like, um, we wrote a lot of music together, and uh, he's actually played, he still does, play with Sade. Um, just an incredible songwriter. Obviously, the one responsible for Blackbird, <laughs> um, the songwriting in that. And then I also have Uriah Duffy. He's played with a lot of amazing artists. Um, Uriah is actually from Oakland. Um, he's a crazy funk bass player. Like, yeah, Ryan's yes. wild with it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's wild. Um, also, Christopher Turner, he plays keys. I've been playing with Chris for about 10 years. He's from Portland, Oregon. Um, amazing keyboard player. And Ashley Miniweather, she's um, a vocalist, too. She's also been singing on the Prince tour with us when we do some of the hit-and-run tours. So, Ashley, she's incredible, like, very, very incredible. So, um, And then also Taron Lockett, my drummer. He's been playing with us for a couple of years now, so... Um, just this group is a very special group. Like, we all luck, and they're pretty incredible. Like, Blackbird, I wouldn't change it for the world. Like, we have that funk, rock, soul thing going on. And it's just, it's the energies that we kind of have together that I, I feel like it's, it's, it's like no other right now. So I'm excited to hit the road with them again. Like, I miss them. I miss being on the stage with them. So we have a whole month to be together. And get on each other's nerves, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, because and who? So, did all of you just kind of just come together, or was anybody kind of responsible for bringing all of you together? Or I mean, I know you said you worked with some of them for 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 years, but you know how? Well, some of us have been together for a long time, but I think like Uriah. The first time I actually saw Uriah play, maybe about eight years, eight to ten years ago, actually. And, um, oh gosh, I can't remember who I was playing with. And I spotted him. It's crazy how, like, you put something out in the universe and it kind of comes comes to you. And, like, <laughs> it comes to you. For some reason, it comes. And uh, I was like, oh, my God. Like, I have to work with that cat. I don't know when that ever is going to happen. And then I actually had the chance to work with Uriah for the past maybe eight or nine months now. And so he's kind of new to the situation. But Uriah just sits in, like... He's, I'm serious. He's just crazy. He just 
he just covers the gamut right now and so he just brings that he brings that energy so yeah oh, that's fantastic well i know you yeah got, yeah have you now you've done a uh, european leg of this tour before haven't you um with not of this tour but you've done a european well, tour before uh with with prince yes i have um we as blackbird we've done the north sea jazz festival last year right um, Maybe that's we what just did about. that one run and that was it and then this time it's kind of like i'm excited because we're doing like 14 15 shows over there so it's it's quite quite incredible right now just thinking about it right now i'm kind of tripped out a little bit about it but I'm really excited. Is it like any place that you're going to be visiting on that European tour that you've never been before that you're like, oh, finally? Yeah, Batumi, Georgia. Batum. Really? I'm really geeked about that gig. Yeah, I really am. I'm so excited about that. What's so special? Yeah. What's so special about Batumi? Because I, you know, I don't know. That's what I, I like. I'm really, really looking forward to the people there because I was actually supposed to do a gig there. I couldn't make it. Um, I think a year back, but now I'm coming there to actually do the gig, and I'm really looking forward to the people there, and I'm really looking forward to, like, just, I, I don't know what to expect, I think that's why I'm kind of, like, super excited about it, you know, I just, I know the people's energy there is just really pumped, because I'm pumped to see them, they're pumped to see me, so... <laughs> We're just gonna have a really good time. So, and that's towards the end of the tour too. So. So tickets are selling really well over there. Yeah, yeah, they oh, are. Man, they are. That's they really awesome. Are. Yeah, so, what do you yeah. think? What do you think it is about? What do you think? Uh, and I, I, I'm probably gonna need to you, just you might want to text Ryan and let him know. I'm, I'm kind of subtle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just Ryan. I'll be right with you. Just stay put, brother. Uh, but anyways, um, what do you think it is about? music in the United States and, and, and how they, you know, I, I have friends at work that we, we, we talk about this all the time. It's just the way that UK handles funk and just this Europe in general and the way that they accept funk and it's part of their mainstream music. And yet over here, we just totally disregard like a huge chunk of, of that style of music. It, what do you think the reasoning for that is? I mean, do you? I mean, I, I see bands like Mother's Finest that mm. that are like still selling out stadiums overseas, but then they come over here and they don't sell out a, 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 a small venue. What do you, What do you think the reasoning for that is? I mean, obviously, besides what they're force fed here as opposed to what they're fed there. That's key. What we're force fed here in the states. Like, I don't think there is a certain amount of respect that we hold um, as far as, like, a live musician. Like, a real live musician. Um, that art of it is, I feel like, is taken away in the States for us. Um, overseas, it's respected still. Um, like, the music in the schools, we don't even have that anymore in the States. Like, they don't even mm -hmm. really pump that. I mean, it's, it's just irrelevant at this point like all we have to do is take the computers and technology and you know it replaces violins or it replaces the feel of bass or it replaces and there's nothing wrong with that but I feel like for for me I need to have that connective human energy that's what makes me move and I feel like overseas I feel like they welcome they still welcome that energy you know they still welcome mm -hmm. they love the fact to hear live music and live bass and you know, an orchestra, like they still celebrate that. And, um, over here, we just want it too fast. We want it too quick. Um, uh, it, the, the human element, the human element of people are, we're starting to lose that within each other, the morals of each other, learning mm -hmm. how to love, to cry, to all those emotions are leaving from us and it's just becoming sterile and it, you know, it's sad to see, that's just in my opinion, I feel like it's sad to see, but I just feel like, you know, for me, when I'm on the stage, I feel like I'm okay with being vulnerable, you know, I'm at the point where I feel like I'm about to cry, and I feel like even like Aretha or a Patti LaBelle or a Mother's Finest, you know, that energy that they give on stage, you can't really find that anymore, because people mm -hmm. aren't, people don't want to perform anymore, 
people are t- right. too worried about sweating their hair out <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> or lashes falling out. I could care less about any of that stuff. You know, yeah, like, well, I, I saw you and when last time you came through Atlanta with uh, Alisa Fiorillo and uh, yeah. Shelby and Shelby, uh-huh. um, and uh, you just have this. Um, and Ryan was actually playing too, but you just have this fire that is just. And when that music starts going, it just completely takes you over, and you just. I mean, you could see it. You can see it in the way that you carry yourself. You can see it in the way that you sing. You can see it in the way that you, you know, deliver the passion. And it's it's really, it's really breathtaking to watch to watch you guys play. Because wow. and, and I have to say that even in that particular arena, there was um, and that wasn't an arena being venue really sure. uh, that you guys were playing in. You only I think you only played like a few songs in that particular. A, a, that particular show and I would l- have loved to have seen a full blown show and so I'm really kind of jealous for all these people that uh, especially that are over in uh, Europe that are going to actually get these full blown shows how long do your shows normally last when you're playing over there uh, a long time well we're supposed to do like 75 minutes but listen I've come from the best purple training in the world so yes. <laughs> No, so, I yeah, can yeah. last for like three or four hours if I need to. You know what I mean? We like, we'll play. We love to play. That's what we love to do. Um, that's what we love. We love that. You know? You have, uh, does Blackbird get an opportunity to, to show off their uh, their chops? Absolutely. Like, uh, and I think that's that's what I love about playing with these musicians. Like, you know, I, I sing and, uh, you know, I get it in with those guys, but I love just featuring these cats because they're incredible. Incredible. Like, I'm like, man, solo, solo as long as you want. Like, I just feel like, you know, I feel like that's missing sometimes. You know, I, I just let them go for it. it. It's it's incredible being around that energy because they give you the energy. Like, okay, I'm up there singing and I'm up there performing and stuff, but these guys, I mean, they're that backbone, you know. They're the ones that got the people up there snapping and doing their shoulders and you know, they're the heartbeat of that, you know, and I love being around it. I love surrounding myself around it, and singers, and I love it. There's something, there's something with, it's not just, there's something about with hanging with really great musicians, like all yes. all, all the members of Blackbird are, they're just, I mean, you, you've taken everybody that's the best at what they do, mm. and put them in a room together, and it's just, just the stuff that you guys create is just... Yeah. It's just so powerful. It's just you can tell the difference between bands that know what they're doing and know how to dissect and know how to make music that you can feel. Um, you know, like like Leanne Le Havis, who who just yes. you know you 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 listen to her stuff and it's just it, there's just element there that's void in most music that you're hearing on the radio. It's just why why people like like Blackbird and yourself and like Leanne Le Havis and like Andy Allo and, and yeah. the people that have just, why they haven't exploded onto the radio is just, is just beyond me. Um, That's a great question. We need to ask the record executives that. Well, I just, yeah, I just, Hello. I, I don't, yeah, exactly. I mean, that's a question I ask, think, I think, every single interview that I, I've, I've ever done. It's just, what do you think is going on? And nobody ever seems to really have the answer. Um I know you have a real, real tight schedule. Um, I, b- before, well, you obviously you guys can visit Funkatopia.com and you can click on concerts and all of uh, Liv's uh, shows are on there. I've pretty much got every single date that you have that currently <laughs> it's on the it's on the concert page. So she's going to be doing a tour of Europe. They're going to be hitting uh, Batumi, Georgia. They're going to be hitting uh, the UK. Uh, ramble off some of the places that you're going to be hitting uh, coming up here. Uh, Montreux Jazz Festival. We're opening up for Lionel Richie. I'm so excited. Oh, my gosh. Uh, oh, it's going to be great. Um, great, great we're so. doing the Village Underground in the UK. We're doing the Pori Jazz Festival, the Nice Jazz Festival. Um, what else are we doing? Uh, we're doing the Musicology Festival. And there's like there's so many. I hope I'm not missing. We're doing Paris for three nights at the Duke Lombard um, Club, and um, it's, it's and we're doing Brussels. Um, 
There's some sold out shows in there, isn't there? Listen, I, I'm really so excited <laughs> about this right now because, so because every show, every show is going to be a progression of you right. know from when we get there. And I'm telling you, every time we get together, it's a party. I, I I'm really looking forward to seeing those guys. I'm looking forward to seeing the horns. I'm looking forward to seeing my band members. Um, I just ask, you know, we want to see your faces. So anybody overseas yes, watching absolutely. right now. Don't be afraid to come up and say hi. Absolutely. Come make sure that anybody that, that yeah, anybody that's listening that happens to go to the shows, please make sure that yes. you give Liv a hug and say Great. and say Mr. Christopher from Funkatopia told me to give you this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, so you can you're more than welcome to hang out. You can watch uh, watch uh, I'm gonna talk with Ryan here. We're gonna we're gonna okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a little airtime. Um yes. Tay, Tayron, I don't know, uh, he probably doesn't Tayron. know what we've done on the okay. uh, on the Skype thing, if you want to, you know, email him, we can talk to him too in a little bit. But you get, you can watch on the Google Plus event page uh, this this whole thing because I am sharing the screen. So um, let me see what I can do here with uh, with Ryan. Oh, I can't even thank you enough for coming and and spending some time. No, and, thank uh, you very much. No, I seriously thank you for supporting us, and I thank everybody for supporting this movement. And you know, I really do thank you from the bottom of my heart. So. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, and uh, we will make sure that we, uh, in the somewhere in the middle of your tour, we're going get, to get in touch with you and and see how things are going, and obviously make sure that you send us some pictures and whatnot. Absolutely. And, uh, Absolutely. All right. Feel free to hang out if you hang out. I may come back to you, but let me uh, chat with uh, Ryan for a minute. Okay. Thank you, Liv. Love you. Mwah. No problem. Love. <laughs> Hey, big dog. Man, you got a nice yeah. roof. You got a nice roof there, man. You got some remodeling going on? Yeah, you know. Hold on one second. That's all right. You there? Yeah, I'm here. Apologies. We had some uh, technical uh, Google Hangout issues, so we were kind of, uh, you know, kind of messing around with, with some of the, uh, the fun stuff. Yeah. So, man, are you, you psyched about the European tour? Yeah, I'm good. It's going to be fun. Have you, uh, have you, you've toured in Europe before, haven't you? Many times, many, many times. So there, is there any, is there any place that's on this list, uh, any place that's on the agenda that you're going to be hitting that you've never gone before? Uh, let's see, the first spot, uh, I've never been to Romania. Uh, I think that's the only place I've never been. Oh, no, 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 uh. We're going to Georgia as well. Yeah, that's not your, not, not your Georgia. Yeah, I know that's unfortunate. Oh, we're that's feeling we're feeling a, just a little tad slighted over here. <laughs> just a little tad slighted because we'll uh, yeah, I know. Well, you actually came through with uh, with a with a little group we with uh, Alisa Fiorillo and um, and Shelby, and you guys yes, came through. Yes, I was then. there for yep. that one. Yep, you were. Um, so. Literally didn't know anything what was special about Batumi, Georgia, but uh, do you know anything about Batumi? Uh, no, I've heard it's beautiful. Um, I, you know, I dig Eastern Europe. I think it's a fascinating part of the world. There's a lot of history. Uh, you know, old cities like that are always cool to explore and check out. Uh, their cultures are always pretty deep, so... I'm I'm looking forward to it. That's gonna be that's gonna be pretty and, incredible. Yeah, we were supposed to do it last year, and I I heard I have some friends who went and played it, and said it was amazing. So I expect the same. All right. So um, tell me a little bit about about Blackbird. How long you've kind of been involved with the project? I you got I mean I know it's been probably close to a decade now, hasn't it? Uh, well, with playing with I Liv, suppose. anyways. Yeah, I've known Liv. Uh, for damn near 10 years, yeah. Uh, when she was just a, an aspiring karaoke singer. <laughs> and, and um, you know, we both kind of had taken different paths in our career, and uh, I'd just come off a big tour and moved uh, to Seattle, um, and she was down to Portland. This is uh, 2012. Um 
and I just let her know I was, you know, back, kind of back in the region and would love to make some noise with her whenever. And she said, well, as a matter of fact, I've got a gig this weekend. Let's, let's do it. And we've just kind of been running ever since. And it happened to coincide also with uh, her, you know, making a record and, and all that. And it was just kind of good timing. So yeah, that's pretty quite awesome. A ride. Yeah. You've been like extremely busy. So, you know, so kind of, um, you know, as far as like the songwriting process, you know, with with Blackbird and, you know, who are, are you coming, you know, coming to the table with a lot of that music? I mean, who's are you just kind of all doing it collectively or is there somebody that's, you know, who's really because that last album was absolutely phenomenal. And I, I know that a lot of people over in Europe are really looking forward to uh, seeing you guys on tour. What can they expect to see when they uh, when they come see you guys live? Yeah, that, that's I mean, kind of twofold question have, there. <laughs> they can expect a show first and foremost. Um, going back to your first question about the music, it everything it all begins and ends with live. Uh, a lot of the stuff on that last record were songs she'd been working on. Um, there was some collaboration from uh, from a few of us um, in that process and. A couple of songs. The song Blackbird was one that I'd written. Um, But most of that was a really collaborative effort in... uh, Let's see. One second. That's good. Sorry, I had a little emergency out in the kitchen out there. Um, (laughs) That's where they start. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. uh, Sure. In fact, I'm going to bring you with me into my kitchen. <laughs> Check it out. All right, here we go. We're going to, we're going to see an emergency in I'm the kitchen. I'm doing the interview. <laughs> God. No rest. Oh, my God. All right. I got it. I got it. So, hey, I'm making, uh, making my kids some pasta. Really interesting. If anybody cares... Is, is is it a is a healthy whole grain pasta or is it the, the it's it's healthy it's organic and everything fantastic yeah I did my <laughs> best so am I live right now are people watching this yeah Where people are live <laughs> you're on? watching this live yeah I can edit out whatever you wanted to edit for the recording but for people who are on here now uh, watching they're all watching you live walk through your house yeah sweet that's pretty hey, cool. everybody. Is, yeah, is that is that a, okay. we do have an attic over there? Yeah, you got some tall ceilings there, lots of flags and stuff. Yeah, there are some tall ceilings. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, disaster averted. Uh, battle okay. ground. So uh, let's see, what were we saying? So what? Um, yeah, well, you were talking about some of the, you know, some of the songwriting process and what they can expect to see when they come see you guys live over in in uh, Europe and, and that. Yeah. So um, that last record was really collaborative. Everybody kind of contributed. It was a real. We recorded everything live, so we just kind of got in the room and made it happen. Um, and live, you know, we've been playing those songs now for a good, you know, year, year and a half coming up on two years here, I guess. So a lot of the, the songs have kind of taken on a new life with the live band and, and the show. And, you know, I've got some new stuff uh, in there as well, some songs people haven't heard yet, some new stuff that we're really excited about playing. Um, and, you know, Liv is a, a force of nature, and really we just kind of strap in and follow her, and her energy is just so incredible that for the band all, all we got to do is just try to keep up with her yeah she's very and, contagious uh, her energy is very fun. contagious yeah very contagious I, I can yeah. I, I can only imagine it it's kind it's of all, a, a know, whirlwind to work with her yeah 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 it's great and she she's the real deal and it's kind of you know it's for musicians especially for live musicians that's what you want out of you know a, a front person and stuff leading the band it's just there is no denying her when she gets on stage and we just <laughs> Like I said, we're just trying to keep up. Right. No, totally understood. Totally understood. I, I can, I firmly believe it because the one time I got an opportunity to see her live, it was pretty, 
It was, it was pretty amazing. She puts on an incredible show. As as do you. I mean, you guys are very extremely, extremely tight. Um, I know that the uh, MPG Horns is going to be uh, along for the ride on. Now, is that's the, the the entire tour, or is it a portion of the tour, or is it the entire tour? Yeah, we're going to have. Uh, they're going to be with us uh, the whole time. There are really? a couple members here and there that are going to, you know, make different appearances. It's a the entire section is, you know, over ten hats. Uh, so there, it's going to kind of be a rotating cast of characters throughout the the tour, um, just with scheduling and trying to get everybody yeah. there. But Obviously. there is always going to be a really strong NPG horn contingent at every show. I think we'll have at least, you know, five or six guys for every show. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's um, pretty pretty amazing. I mean, the, the the type of show that you guys put on, especially when you have when you have that back line, is just it's pretty powerful and, and very extremely extremely funky. So you got um, so you you're you as you said you've toured Europe before. Any place that you're really I know you said that was Batumi you hadn't been there before, but any place that you've you're, we're going here that you're really looking forward to that you've been before that you're like wow I can't wait to go back uh, yeah you know um, or or for the sake of this discussion probably all of them correct <laughs> yeah I uh, I I love them all um, you know in Europe in general I always love London I've got a lot of friends and damn near family at this point uh we're going to Nice a couple times, um, which is one of my favorite places on the planet, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Amsterdam is going to be crazy. Um, let's see. I'm looking forward to all of it. I, I can't. There's nothing on the schedule where I'm saying, oh, man, you know, why do we have to go there? <laughs> it's going to be great. The well, whole time. I'm definitely uh, psyched that we had an opportunity to be able to talk to you and also live and catch kind of focus on you guys because you're you guys are a phenomenal band you're a phenomenal player and really um really looking good to see you continuing on and 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 playing some shows and actually getting seen because i, I really think that for for live and and blackbird in particular the amount of time that you guys put on the road and the saturate i think that's going to be the difference when your success is actually being able to saturate uh, these places and get people to actually see you because once they see you they have no choice but to go out and 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 pick up the album and uh, that's really what you guys need and i'm just i'm so excited for this tour because i think that it's really going to help help take you guys to the next level i think it's, it's pretty amazing yeah i think so too um you know that's always the trick is to get out in front of people and you know the music biz it's it's a tough road and uh the road we've taken is definitely one of the less traveled ones but uh it's kind of how it has to happen for a band like this that's right yeah so how how did the uh how did the the fact that we're still doing it yeah so how did the uh to kind of get off a little bit off topic how did the uh tour with shariego you get uh that all figured out (laughs) was it how, how did it go was it a was it a oh, gangbuster yeah, it was, tour? It was amazing. It's always it's always fun when when they go out and that's uh, you know that's that's family for me. I hope we do another one here sooner or later. Uh, we shall see. Yeah. Um, well, the last yes. one. It's it's been a good few years now. So uh, your kids coming? Al- to, your kids coming along for any? Your kids coming along for any part of the tour? Not this one. No, they're. Uh, they're going with spending some time with grandma and staying home. They just got out of school, so they're chilling. Yeah, well, that's always good. Yeah. Well, Ryan, thank you very much for uh, for coming out and uh, talking to us, and I'm really excited again for the for the tour. And you guys are going to have a fantastic time. We'll be obviously keeping in touch on the Facebook and making sure that, uh, and of course, the website in general. And just be sure that you post some photos, especially of uh, Batumi, because I think a lot of people want to know what Batumi looks like. Oh, yeah. We, we definitely will. <laughs> Including Liv. She's like, I have no idea what it looks like. We're going to yeah, find yeah. out. <laughs> cool, man. Uh, I appreciate you. We're going to have thanks, some fun. Thanks again. appreciate your time, brother. All right, then. You bet. All right. See you later. Take care.
All right, guys. Once again, uh, thank you very much for hanging out, guys. I know that uh, we had a we had a little bit of technical issues here and there, but I'm glad that you guys uh, hung with it and uh, got to speak a little bit with Liv and a little bit with Ryan. Uh, we will post the edited version of this. That's kind of a little bit more uh, condensed and uh, free of technical issues. But this is Mr. Christopher from Funkatopia. Thank you very much for uh, tuning in. Uh, also, be sure to go to Funkatopia.com. Click on Concerts and be sure that you look to see all the dates that Liv's playing on their European tour, uh, as well as all the other acts that I talked about previously in the earlier session. Um, anything that I rambled off, like the Des Dickerson show that's going to be happening, uh, the Purple Experience, which is the Prince cover band, um, with Dr. Fink actually on the keys, uh, F Deluxe, uh, Leeds Peterson Music, which is Eric Leeds and Paul Peterson from The Family, um, Andy Allo, Leanne Le Havis, all of them have tons of dates that are appearing uh, on the concert calendar, as well as Morris Day and the Time, uh, Jesse Johnson's playing with D'Angelo, so there's tons of dates that are on the calendar. Be sure that you check them out. See if any of them are coming into your neck of the woods. And again, especially right now, Liv Warfield and Blackbird as they hit Europe. So if you happen to be watching this and you're in Europe, it's very, very important that you get out to the show and give her some love and give her some support. Pick up a t-shirt. Give her a hug. Tell her that, tell her that it's from me. Now nah, you can claim it as your own. It's okay. I've hugged her before. Anyways, thank you very much for tuning in, guys. We'll uh, we'll try to come in a little bit later at some other time. But for right now, God bless you. This is Mr. Christopher from Funkatopia signing off. We'll see you later.